Okay, anyways. You know, I don't even know how to begin this episode. I'm just going. Just doing it. Hey. I'm very upset. This is very upsetting. Um, oh, in here. Hello. Oh. Not Louis, too. L Louise? Uh, excuse me, but how's she been holding up? Has she been given medical treatment? F Father Zerbel's already tended to her, but apparently the blow to her head was so strong, he can't be sure if she'll make it. Louise, please open your eyes. I'm begging you. You two seemed like good friends from what I've seen. Yeah. We got to know each other from my visits to the weather, uh, to the weathercock whenever I was in town for work. But I'm not going to be able to do anything for her staying here. Let's go. We need to see how things are, uh, are elsewhere. Right. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I hope Louise will be okay. It is Louise. She wasn't the only familiar face either. Okay. Next up is the market manager's house. Use the subway. Uh, where are you? Upstairs? Alright, cool. Oh, oh, I already have a bad feeling about that. Please don't tell me. Oh. No. Why, Otto? Please come back to me! No way. You're all from Thor's, correct? We fell victim to one of the Soldot's attacks while evacuating the town's folk, I'm afraid. I did everything in my power to save him. And yet... Oh, come on, man! Uh, I see. Why him? Oh! But we... We never got to pay him back for helping us during our time here. How could this happen? The market manager's always done everything he could to protect or to protect this town. But now he's went and gave his life for us. No one left this town more than Otto. This just goes to prove that. Why did things end up like this? What are we even gonna do? Oh This is just really Really getting to me. <laughs> uh, down here? Oh, Claire. And Nightheart. Oh! And Elliot's father, too. Oh, I see you've all arrived. Lieutenant General Craig, Major Nightheart. I see the RMP is here as well. Thank you for coming, everyone. I presume you were all contacted. That's right. We came as soon as we heard. Is this the work of who I think it is? It is, as you suspect. This was done by none other than the uh, Kreutzen Provincial Army Soldats. That's absurd! For what reason? So it seems they have no issue with raising the very hands they're meant to protect. Unfortunately, it's very real. Apparently. They broke through a gap in our line of defense at the Twin Dragons Bridge. According to the report, there were a number of Jaeger, uh, Jaegers within their ranks too. Duke Alvarez has been hiring the Northern Jaegers throughout the war. They were behind the attack on Ymir too. That explains things. Raising towns like this is one of their specialties. We arrived on the scene as fast as we could and managed to fight fight them off while evacuating the townsfolk, but they had already retreated towards Berehard and 
formed a defense line by the time the 4th Armored Division arrived. Townsfolk readily accepted us after the Provincial Army was forced to retreat from Trindragon's Bridge. It's clear this was intended to punish them for that as an example to others. Even then, though, there's just no excuse for this. This reminds me of what Rufus and Vita said, actually. I beg to differ. The presence of Soldot's units on a battlefield makes a tremendous difference. What they may lack in firepower and armor compared to tanks, they make up for in mobility and versatility. But more important than even those factors is the psychological impact they have on our opponents. We're only human. As such, we are as captivated as we are terrified of giant beings bearing human form. Rufus said that? Oh, Vita. The fear this attack has instilled in the townsfolk seems to be a testament to those words. Thanks to Solots, it's safe to say they succeeded in their aim. Even we of the RMP felt somewhat powerless against them. Especially since we couldn't prevent the, uh, the fatality. To think the one fatality would be the market manager of all people. Regardless, we plan to strengthen our defenses here while prepared to, uh, for counterattack, uh, countermeasures against Berea Hart. I advise that you keep your distance from Keldic for a while. To engrave this horrid sight into your minds, however. This is no more, no mere minor conflict. It's an all-out war. Never forget that. Oh... East Keldic Highway. Alright. Use this away. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, this way, I think. Yes. Use this away! We've got a decent gap, uh, grasp on the situation in Keldic now. Should we head back? Turn to the courageous. Green! Oh. <sighs> Where's my family? They're all safe, right? Oh, uh, Becky. We told you to wait on board, didn't we? He expects me to sit about knowing what's happening to my home? My family's safe, right? What about the market manager? Your family's alright. We saw them at the church. I can't say the same for the market manager, though. Oh, no. You're having a laugh, huh? Wait. Let's leave her be for now and head back to the Courageous. We have a lot to discuss, uh, regardless where the- where to proceed. We have the lot to discuss regarding where to proceed from here. Indeed. I am so upset. After leaving Keldic in the Imperial Army's hands, they all went back to the Courageous. Processing both Otto's death and the state of the of Keldic proved to be difficult, but they had to face it. It was only after Becky had returned that they decided to take off. Still, this war seems to resemble the War of the Lions more by the minute. History tells us towns were set ablaze all across the country back then as well. Really? That is said to have been the case, yes. Although the situation back then is very different compared to now. True enough. This war has been relatively bloodless in comparison, so something like this happening is a big deal. Still, in the long term, this is bound to hurt the Alliance's cause more than it will help. That's why I'm finding it so hard to picture that Rufus would give the go-ahead to do it. I think it's safe to say it was just Duke Alborea doing his own thing. He really seems to hate how Duke Cayenne's higher in practice than him in the Alliance. I'm sorry. But this is where we part ways. Captain, please let me disembark somewhere nearby. What? 
You can't be serious. You're not... You're not thinking of trying to settle things with your father alone, are you? <sighs> I can't believe you would even entertain the thought. You need to take a deep breath and calm down before you do something you'll regret, Eusis. How dare you? Don't act like you know the first thing about what I'm feeling right now. As a member of the Alborea family, I have a duty to stop my father. You have no right! We have every right to interfere, Eusis. This is clearly too much for one person to handle alone. Machias is right. You need to calm down and we need to think this over together. Yeah, this isn't like you at all. As your classmates and friends, it's not hard to imagine how terrible you must be feeling right now. But that's exactly why we want to help you. And we should discuss how to approach this matter together. Uh. <laughs> that's a class 7 I know. Still, this isn't a matter to be taken lightly. Your actions could have a profound effect on the war from here on out. If you're going to get yourselves involved, you're going to need to be prepared for the potential consequences. But I'm sure you guys know the deal at this point, right? We fully understand what you're saying. So far, we've tried to keep our interference with the war itself to a minimum. However, what just happened in Keldic was an act of terrorism against innocent civilians. We can't turn a blind eye to that. You're right. We're all agreed there. The market manager did a lot for us, both during our field study and when we were lying low there after the war broke out. I'm of the same opinion. He may be head of one of the four great houses, but the Imperial family can still make him answer for his crimes. So please, use my position and this ship however necessary to bring him to justice. Thank you, Your Highness. All right, I think it's time we come up with a solid plan. We can't allow Duke Alborea to do anything so inhuman ever again. Thank you. Huh? Is there a call coming through? Where's it coming from? Um, bear with me a moment. This can't be right. It's coming from an airship owned by the Noble Alliance. How can that be? They must have sneaked into range. What should we do, Toa? I think I can shake them off if I try. No. Put the call up on the screen. It's a pleasure to see you all again. Especially you, my dear brother. And Princess Alphen is with you, too. Truly, it's an honor, Your Highness. Uh, Rufus! Goodness! Why are you calling us? I apologize for calling so abruptly. Rest assured, I have no intention of attacking or otherwise harming you. I'm calling because there is information of which I'd like to make you aware. Due to the rather sensitive nature of my message, this feed is a private communique from my personal airship. What could you possibly have to tell us? Does this concern Keldic by any chance? It does indeed. I imagine all of you have seen what befell the town yourselves. The attack on Keldic was instigated by Duke Alborea alone. We of the Noble Alliance do not in any way condone it. If you plan to confront the Duke about his actions, you need fear no interference from us. Mm, huh? Oh, I get it. You want us to take him out, don't you? Surely not. The bulk of the Kreutzen Provincial Army is already under my control. The attack was carried out by a small contingent of soldiers who remain loyal to my father. At present, they've walled themselves up in Aurochs Fort along with him. With the aid of the Imperial Army, you ought to be able to take the fortress without much trouble. This is insane. They're not as well trained as the ones who are serving you, so you don't mind losing them, do you? I'm impressed at how cold-heartedly objective you can be, Mr. Chief of Staff. Bet you'd love it if we ended up killing each other so you'd have nothing to worry about, huh? <laughs> Nothing of the sort, Miss Clausel. Still, there's no denying my father's actions will be a millstone around the neck of the Alliance going forward. But considering the position I hold, I can't very well publicly oppose him. And that's why I figured I might bring up the matter with all of you. Mm. Well, I've said my part. Oh, and Eusis, this is an intensely family-centric affair, as I'm sure you realize. I'm very curious how you'll approach it. I... Well then, if you'll excuse me, I suppose I'll hope and pray for your success this once, as a sitting member of Thor's board of directors. Uh, no 
nothing like using other people to do your dirty work. There remains a real possibility that this is a trap. Still, now we know the Alliance wants something done about Duke Alvarez as much as we do. This could be the best chance we're ever going to get to stop him from wreaking more havoc. <sighs> I can't allow my father to commit any more of these unforgivable crimes. I will go to Aurochs Fort and apprehend Duke Alborea myself. And it would mean the world to me if all of you were to lend me your aid. <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Of course we will. We'll be with you every step of the way. The power of friendship. With that, they finally began preparations to apprehend Duke Alborea. Duke Alborea's actions against Keldic were believed to be a, in violation of a number of Imperial laws. With that fact as justification, Class 7 chose to call upon the aid of the 4th Armored Division and RMP to formally place him under arrest. In the end, they settled upon the following plan. First, the 4th Armored Division would attack Brehard's northern line of defense. Meanwhile, the RMP would attack the city's south, uh, southern line of defense, forcing them to call the, uh, for reinforcements from Rook's Fort. This would give Class 7 the opportunity to attack the fortress using the Courageous with uh, relatively uh, uh, limited opposition. And once the fortress was under their control, they were to arrest Duke Abrea, effectively completing the mission. Oh, we are prepared. While all of this was being finalized, the remaining touches were put to Valimar's reinforced sword. The operation proved to be a, an uh, opportune time to test it and collect much needed data. Definitely not the preferred method to test it, but I suppose. The next day, the time came for the operation to begin. Well, the time's finally come. Is everyone ready to go? Of course. We can't let Eusis down. Mm-hmm. This is our chance to avenge Otto's death, too. I appreciate it. Just try and focus your thoughts on the operation for now. You can worry about the other things later. <laughs> we'll be right there with you. Sounds like everyone's all fired up and ready to go. This will be our first chance to test Valimar's newly uh, fortified weapon, too. How'd it turn out? Great, actually. And like Laura said, today's operation makes it the perfect chance to test it out in battle. I hope so. It'll be a good way to iron out the kings, anyway. The more data I have, the better off we'll be when it comes to making that Tachi. Guys, the 4th Armored Division and the Railway Military Police are almost ready to make their move. Let me know as soon as you're ready, the sooner the better. I'm coming with you. It doesn't sit right with me to have you going up against high-ranking Jaegers alone. That's no reason to lay our, uh, let your guard down, though. Make sure you have everything you need. No problem. The number of members in the party is temporarily increased to seven. Wow! Whoa, alright, cool. I'm totally game for this. Alright, uh, healer. Damage. Uh, <laughs> more damage. More damage. Cool. Uh, I think this should suffice. To advance the main story, speak to Toa in the captain's chair and select commence operation. Nito, I'm gonna save though. Cool. Oh, Toa! Whoops. I've always known that we were in the middle of the real, of a real war. Until now. I didn't understand what kind of pain and sacrifice that truly entailed. Same here. Part of me is still trying to convince myself that something so unjust couldn't really have happened. But what's done is done. We can't turn back time. But we can, can and will stop the Duke from doing anything like that ever again. That's right. We'll make sure of that. 
Commence the operation. You guys ready to go? Your equipment's in perfect order, right? And Valimar is all ready too? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I need to go shopping. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have the means to do so too. Uh, first, I want to go to the Orbital Factory so I can um, uh, exchange some uh, Sepith. Uh, where do I go? Oh, right, the Orbital Factory uh, moved to here. Hello, bud. This wasn't exactly what I pictured the Reinforced Blades' first battle would be. I wish we could have given you a test run or something beforehand. But I guess you do know how to use a sword, so... It's the same blade you've always used, just stronger. It shouldn't be all that different, at least. Yeah, I'll be fine. This blade's gonna lead us straight to victory. I just know it. You're too kind. Good luck, Green. I want to do some, uh... Shopping. There we go, here's exchange. I don't have that much Zephyr's mass, so... All right, cool. That's the extent of what I can give there. Oh, neat. Uh, I'll give a good amount here. Let's do about four here. Do two here. That's not half bad. I think we need some more. There we go. Last but not least. Exchange. Awesome. Uh, no! This will give me a chance to get some real usage data for the new reinforced blade. At least, that'll help. I've got a few thi few last little tweaks to make, but once they're done, I'll hand it off to Valmar. Uh, customized weapon. I don't have any new weapons customized. Dead gummit. Alright, cool. I want to go up and shop. Maybe I can buy myself a new weapon. Actually, let me see what weapons I need for the customization. Because I have 30 for you materials, so... Kiri Ichimon Ichimonji. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Sonic Triggers. I think I can remember that. Here's hoping. Cross my fingers. <laughs> Shop. Uh, where is the weapon shop? That is storage room. Weapon shop should be up here. Hey, bud. Uh, dude. I don't want to apply right now. I want to upgrade it. Oh, I got just the amount that I need. Yeah, it affects her too. So I'm getting two of them. Nope. Uh. Uh, who could use that? Useless. Where are you? There you are. Uh, who uses Sentinel? Alright, cool. Gas does. Uh, who was this for? No one. This is for no one. Actually, no, this is for Sarah. Is it? I'm very confused. Anyways. <sighs> Battle jacket. I need a whole bunch. Oh, I need some more. Um, I think I'm going to get four of these. And... Oh, I can only afford two of those. Oh, well, that's fine, I suppose. I also really super wanted to shop for some consumable items, but the thought never crossed my mind. So that's not what I ended up doing. So let's hope I don't, you know, die or anything. That would really be a bummer. Because my weapons... Ichimonji. Good. Oh. How's that the other one? Here we go. 
Oh no. And done. Alright, let us apply those new weapons. Uh, oh, that's why. Okay, her weapons can't be changed out. Uh, change that out. Change that. One more. And for my... Oh, actually, no. I still have one more. There we go. And for my active party. There you go. And for you. Cool. All right. For you. Uh, I already have one applied. There we go. And let's see here. Everybody has some some pretty good equipment, except for you. Uh, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add this one. All right, we're good. All right, awesome, neat. I'm gonna go up to the to the bridge, and I'm gonna call it a day. Yes, thank you for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, please press that subscribe button. Also, press the bell to see all notifications. Next time, I'm going to commence the operation. And then we're going to fight Duke Alvarez. I do need to change my equipment. This is not... This is not... Scene-appropriate equipment. Look at that. Look at me. I mean, I look pretty. But I don't look menacing. One second. Well... Alright.